What's up guys, you're watching Radical Reptiles. This is gonna be an awesome video. We're going to the Ark and Creation Museum and I'm gonna be showing you just a little bit how I'm going to prep all of my animals for an entire week, leaving them while I'm gone. And I'm also going to be showing you a ton of cool clips from the Ark and Creation Museum. So please watch this video. It's gonna be a really good one. Okay, I'm currently setting up my animals enclosures with the automatic feeding system and some of them didn't work and we had to get somebody to take care of some of my animals and the misting system it was a dud it just kind of just poof, just did not work at all like yeah so then after that they were ready and we head out so the drive to Kentucky has been uh, multiple hours and we went through multiple states in order to arrive to our airbnb which is in kentucky okay guys i'm here at the creek and this is right behind our airbnb <clears throat> we just arrived in kentucky and we are not going to be going to the ark or the creation museum today because it's later in the day so you don't really have time to do that but we are exploring the creek that's right behind our house so currently i'm in a smaller uh, shallower section of the creek and there's a large uh, deep area of the creek that is I hear is extremely deep um, and so right now we're just kind of exploring uh, seeing what we can find and there's been a cat that has been following us uh, his name is Milo and Milo is right there that's Milo Anyways, th this is the creek. Uh, anyways, I uh, went searching for some salamanders, uh, flipped a few rocks, and found uh, quite a few salamanders. And all of the salamanders were the exact same kind of salamander. Anyways, after searching for salamanders, we went to the Creation Museum. The Creation Museum is awesome. Right as you walk in, there's dinosaur sculptures, a huge mastodon skeleton, animatronic dinosaurs, and a big cichlid pond with tons of cichlids and even some turtles. So anyways, one of the first things we did when we came to the Creation Museum was we went to a reptile show with Rick Teepin, a reptile guy. So I interviewed him for this video. I'm here in the lobby of the Creation Museum with Rick Teepin, and he has another big snake. So, uh, what kind of snake is it? This is also a boa constrictor. This happens to be an albino boa constrictor. Okay, so um, I'm going to be going to... Snakes Alive show. Snakes Alive, yeah. Name Chiquita will be there. Okay. Okay, so I am currently exploring one of the exhibits of the Creation Museum, which is awesome. I definitely recommend coming. It has many exhibits on how the world was created in seven days. And this exhibit is Buddy Davis's Dino Den, which talks about uh, how the dinosaurs died off and what happened to them after the flood. And it has some of Buddy Davis's cool uh, dinosaur sculptures. And so now I'm going to be talking to Rick Teepin some more. Okay, so I'm at the Creation Museum and um, I have a uh, boa constrictor, and so I just have a few questions. For sure, you. Josiah, what's up? Okay, so what is your profession? I do reptile programs with a Christian message. I like to show how God's creation works with all the animals He's created, including the reptiles. So, um, uh, does it have a name? This is Noah the boa. His name is Noah because boa constrictors are very strong for their size, as you can see. And Noah was very strong in his faith. And Noah was strong. How many animals do you have? I have about 30 reptiles. I have snakes, lizards, and a few turtles. Okay, well, um, so this is, um, Noah the Boa Constrictor. And boom! I'm here at the Creation Museum and I'm exploring more of the Creation Museum's awesome exhibits. So this is 
I believe, an exhibit on the sixth day of creation, uh, where Adam and Eve and all of the animals are here. It's really cool. There's dinosaurs here, tons of animals, giant cats, kangaroos, monkeys, all that stuff. And really, really pretty, except I thought they should have had a waterfall in this room, uh, but they didn't. They have a waterfall in another room, which you'll see in a little bit. Um, let me know in the comments if you can see any lizards going through here. Uh, I didn't manage to spot any lizards, but I did manage to spot a tarantula. Uh, so let me know if uh, you can see any of the lizards. Uh, uh, there's another room coming up here where there's Adam and Eve and a waterfall. Uh, another thing, cool thing I did while I was here at the Creation Museum was I got to meet the Wild Brothers, and they are from a show I watch called Wild Brothers on Answers in Genesis. Alright guys, I'm here at the Ark. Uh, the Ark is super awesome. They have this really cool rainbow arch right here as you enter, and there's uh, people taking pictures in front of it and all, and it's really cool, and it's the first thing you see right before you enter and you see the Ark, which is huge. And one of the first things I went did was I went to the Ararat Ridge Zoo and I saw this really funny monkey just sitting there. Uh, I saw some crazy looking gray crowned uh, cranes, some ostriches sunbathing in the sun. And I also saw a zonkey, and not just a zonkey, but also a zorse which is over there in the corner, if you can see it. And I also got to pet a kangaroo because the Ararat Ridge Zoo has a kangaroo walkthrough right as you enter the zoo. So it's super awesome if you've never pet a kangaroo before. Another thing I saw while I was at the zoo was I saw a sloth. Uh, sloths don't move that much as far as I'm aware, but this sloth, was on the move. He was moving quite a bit while we were there. Uh, he had a little sloth house and he was moving all about while we were there as well. Uh, this is a camel ride. You do have to pay an extra $10 to do a camel ride, but it's really cool if you've never ridden a camel before. So I would definitely recommend coming to the zoo and riding a camel and petting a kangaroo while you're there because it's super awesome. So anyways, this is the Air Average Zoo. This is the Ark. Right before I go into the Ark, like, just look at this thing. It's huge. And, uh, all right, I'm inside the Ark. And that, those jars over there is where they keep the reptiles and amphibians. And while I'm in the Ark, I'll just focus on some of the reptiles and amphibians here. Like, you know, the dinosaurs and some more dinosaurs. These are really fat dinosaurs. Uh, anyways... This is how they keep the reptiles and amphibians inside the ark. And there was tons of stuff to look at inside the ark. So I just chose a few things to show you um, that I took a video of. Uh, but the ark was really cool and I did see quite a few things about reptiles and amphibians while I was here. Because obviously I'm a reptile channel. It's a little chameleon there right on the side of that bowl. If you can see it just chilling. And there's another lizard over there on the desk, if you can see it. He looks angry. Uh, I don't know why. But anyways, uh, these are some of the rooms, like, about how they lived on the Ark. And of course, uh, they had to grow their own fruits and veggies. Uh, so this is, this is one of the rooms how they, like, it's, it's kind of like a greenhouse inside the Ark that uh, Noah and his family used. This is a cool Rainbow Covenant exhibit um, about how God promised that he would never flood the earth again with a rainbow. And this is the door of the ark. Uh, that was pretty big. So anyways, that was just a few things that I focused on while we were inside the ark. And then after we finished exploring the ark, which did take two days, uh, we went uh, on a tour. And it's, it's a tour you have to pay for to see some of the plants they grow. All right, so I'm only going to show you a few clips uh, from the plant tour that I took. Uh, they grew a bunch of lettuce for all of the animals at the Creation Museum using fish ponds, and they had koi and tilapia, and they had some really cool plants. They had red ones, green ones, pink ones, blue ones, uh, and everything in between, and they used all of these plants 
for the Ark and the Creation Museum because they have beautiful gardens at the Ark and Creation Museum. Uh, and I would uh, definitely, if you're going to the Creation Museum, walk through the gardens. They're really cool. They have a carnivorous plant garden, a Japanese garden, and a bunch of water gardens. So, yeah, this plant tour was really cool. And I saw a bunch of cool plants because I like plants. You know, I have some plants of my own. Uh, but anyways, this is all for the plant tour. Okay, so the Ark was really cool. I would definitely recommend coming here, but this is all of the filming I got for the Ark. So we set off to do more exploring. Alright, so back at our Airbnb, I found this really cool garter snake, and we did even more exploring. I found this really cool wooden structure, which was super fun to play on. I played on this wooden structure, and it's got these really cool ropes and these metal bars, and you have to swing back and forth. And so I just thought I'd take a video of this because it's a really cool find uh, that we found when we were walking on some trails and trying to find some geocaches, which, by the way, we did find some geocaches uh, hidden back in the woods. But this was a really cool thing that I thought I'd share because I had a lot of fun playing on this metal and wooden structure. And the park was really fun because it had these wooden ramps. So I had a lot of fun while I was at this park geocaching. But anyways, after we had our fun, then it was time to go. So we started to pack up. And we started our drive back to our house, which took multiple hours. And then right, we finally so made I'm it back home. back from the Ark and the Creation Museum. It was super awesome. I would definitely say you should go check it out. It was really fun. Please like, please subscribe. Anyways, this is all for today's video.